So a few things here. First off, uh, well, I got my, I got these uh, pieces of aluminum. These uh, two sheets here, all fitted up. So they fit kind of snugly down and snugly, snugly, <laughs> snugly down in between the thing. And I can show that to you. Get my screwdriver here. I was doing some test fitting, which i uh, show in a second here why. So, uh, just undo these here. Said I'm gonna put it at the, put the motors at the end there. Uh, that's why I had it down there. So, just put those down there. Actually, gotta keep them out of the way, actually. All right, but uh, yeah, these uh, fit right next to each other. They're still kind of uh, they're still kind of uh, tight, but they're less. That's all right for them to be a little bit uh, a little bit tight like that. They just uh, drop down in there, and what we're going to do is we're going to ultimately take this bar and. Wherever those holes were or whatnot, this bar is going to sit there, like, you know, more or less like so. So it's going to be this side with the lip is the top side. It's going to be the top side of the robot. So this is going to uh, sit on there, and uh, I'm going to have to drill a couple holes on each end through this sheet metal so I can get the screws in, get these two screws through. And I'm going to have to also drill some holes, probably one here, here, um, these two up here that are on the other uh, nut certs, and then uh, probably one on the ends here and a couple on the ends here, and that should be, that should, that should actually be just fine. Um, but I'm going to have to drill holes both through the sheet these sheets as well as through the frame too um, which uh, is fairly easy to do with a drill but that's uh, that's you know that's that's how the essentially the the I don't know what you call it the floor the deck let's call it the deck that's what we called it last time right it's kind of how the deck is going to be uh, is going to be arranged for this uh, robot now the uh, motors themselves are going to be mounted on the on what is the bottom side this side this <laughs> this side down here <laughs> and if they'll be mounted essentially using uh, where did I put it uh, they'll be mounted using a larger L bracket and this end of here will be essentially screwed to this to this metal bracket here through the through the aluminum and everything and this other piece will be screwed to the aluminum as well and then there will be a there will be a bolt that will go through this top hole here and will go through this bracket right here just go kind of like that through this and then the other end of the shaft will actually be, or be actually somewhere in here, will be supported by a uh, block of material for a bearing block, and I'll get to that later. So uh, let me uh, let me flip this over and show you how this all came about. Okay, so remember the uh, this side of here is actually uh, the uh, top side the deck side of the robot if you will and uh, I'm just going to mount this 
not going to, you know, don't have, don't have the uh, sheet metal prepared yet. So, but this will make it clear or more clear as to what's going on. I'm mount these, mount these, uh, put these two screws in place and uh, mount this uh, bracket, this steel bracket here to the frame. That's good. This one here feels like it's kind of a little bit cross-threaded, but that's all right. Okay, there we go. All right, so we'll flip this over. Now this side, this side is the bottom, what would be facing the ground, in other words. So what I did is I got my, I got my wheel here, and I got my motor. And I mounted, I mounted my shaft collar onto the end of the motor. And I did that very carefully by essentially putting the wheel on and positioning the shaft collar until the wheel with the spacer, the round spacer that I filed down, goes down in there just like that so that the edge Again, I don't know if you can see this, but so that the edge of the spacer was basically kind of right at where that groove is, where the uh, spring washer clip thing will go over that and clip onto it. And interestingly enough, the distance between the end of the shaft collar, or the top of the shaft collar, and the end of the shaft is essentially one and a quarter inches. So uh, I'll know next time for the other motor that I need to just position the shaft collar down one and a quarter inches from the end and I'll know it's positioned properly. So going back to this with this like this I'm going to position these motors again this is the bottom. I was going to position these motors something like something like this and I had to do this kind of like just by trial and error but I wanted this to be out enough so that the shaft collar and the brackets and everything would be out past the edge of the frame and that this you know that I could then say okay well that's kind of where I want this L bracket at so that the motor can be supported by it. So taking it and looking at it, I made a mark on one side and that mark is right here and it turned out to be uh, approximately two and seven eighths. Two inches, two and two and seven eighths inches from the mark to the inside of the frame right right here. So I made a, a different mark over on this side, same measurement, got it right there. Don't know if you can see that, it's a little, kind of light mark. But what I'm going to do is uh, essentially take these, take the, take the bracket and drill out a hole right here. And same over here, drill out a hole right there. And then with those holes drilled, then I can uh, then I can basically work from there. Put the sheet metal in place. Um, mark the mark the holes for these here. Mark the holes here. Drill those. Drill them through the sheet metal. Mark the other holes and drill those. And uh, then then this then this thing can start to come together. So. I'm going to go ahead and uh, start that. One of the things I wanted to do first before I guess start getting into drilling is I wanted to extend these uh, two marks. So what I'm going to do is just put my uh, put my square along it and then I've got a mason's nail, masonry nail, a lot harder than a regular nail. I'm just going to use it as a uh, as a marker make a scratch there 
Do the same on this one. Hopefully those are a little bit easier to see. Yeah. So uh, now that I got those marked out, then I can uh, then I can easily just uh, you know, take one of these and position it more or less where I need it and make a mark just like that. Do the same thing on this side. Again, nothing has to be really exact on this. Make another mark. And uh, those marks are just going to extend them out a little bit. Deepen them a little bit, I guess I should say. Those marks will be where I can drill my holes. For my brackets. Now, one of the things I got to do first, though, is I got to actually drill these brackets out because I'm going to be using these size bolts. They're just the uh, quarter twenties. Uh, like I said, uh, same thing. That's on uh, it's on tripods and whatnot to mount, mount your camera and whatnot. Very common, very standard size, but they don't fit these holes here. Won't go through. So I need to drill these out for these bolts. Or this size bolts, I should say, and uh, uh, then I can then I can mount things up properly. So I'm going to uh, do that next. Yep, my drill is old, just like I am, but it gets the job done. I don't have to worry about running out of batteries. basically it. I'm going to do the other holes and the other uh, bracket and everything and we'll move on from there. For this particular drilling of this um, of this bracket here, I wanted to try something out. I've got this uh, old Craftsman, you can see here, this old Craftsman drill press that uses a Craftsman hand drill. Um, I picked that up at uh, I picked that up at uh, uh, a junkyard I go to called Apache Reclamation, and uh, I had the drill, so I decided I you know I decided to, I thought I'd go ahead and uh, give it a shot. Um, now you don't need uh, you don't need one of these you don't need a drill press or anything for this kind of a thing. As I showed before, you can drill through steel and whatnot just with a regular hand drill. Um, holding it by hand and everything. Well, not holding it by hand, using a vise. Um, but uh, I wanted to give this a give this a try out just to just to give it a shot. So uh, let's see what happens here. All right. So the one thing that's kind of dangerous about this drill is it doesn't have an on-off switch other than the trigger. And this particular uh, drill is actually missing its trigger lock. It used to have one. Um, so I just uh, rigged up a uh, a U a U bolt here to hold the trigger down, and it's very loud. So I'm going to plug it in. And we're going to give this a shot. See what happens. Wish me luck.
looks like it worked. One nice hole later. Just like that. Really not a bad little unit here. I think, uh, I think, uh, probably be worthwhile to uh, use some uh, some oil on it uh, had to kind of like stop and everything to allow the uh, bit to cool raise it up but uh, overall I think it's a success we got both our holes drilled here and here and uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, mount this back up onto the uh, onto the frame with the aluminum place or aluminum sheet in place and uh, then uh, mark the holes out on that for uh, to drill that out, and uh, we'll just use the uh, regular regular drill to drill those out. Uh, I just wanted to give that a shot, to see how it, how how well it worked. I think it worked pretty pretty darn good. I really like it. To uh, mark these sheets, I put them on the inside of the frame, and I flipped the frame over, and put it on top of my uh, little little step stool here. And that's on top of my workbench. That's just so the frame will press down on the edges. And I have something stable that I can work on. Or at least somewhat stable. And I'm just going to mark the holes. At least the initial holes. Using my uh, punch. And just put them right through the... Uh, just like that. And then from there we can drill those out and uh, also uh, mark some holes on them for the other spots and we'll go from there. I'm going to drill this hole first. We're going to do this other one down here later. I'm going to drill this one. Make sure we're on the mark. At least close to it. And there we go. There's one. The other one's right here. So, uh, drill that one out. And line it up. And that's all we have to do there. So, those holes are now drilled on that one. We're going to do the other one, and uh, then uh, we'll put them in place on the uh, on the frame. Show show you what it looks like. Well, here it is, all assembled. Got our screws here. Got a bar here. Need to uh, mark some. Uh, I'm not even sure you can see this. Let's see. Let's get this tilted a little bit. All right. Yeah. All right. Got our screws here, up here. Got to mark these onto the uh, aluminum, and uh, also mark out some others. And drill those out and drill the frame out and mount all that. So, gonna get to that next. So I drilled the holes here and here, and I mounted this bracket here, just temporarily, and squared it up with my square so that I know that it's square with the frame and everything. And I'm going to mark a hole here to drill out. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Just flip this over. Put another bracket on just like this. Line it up. Square it up. Mark it. And drill it. And that will be... And that will take care of the holes for the motor brackets.
Oh, now I have them marked. I'm just going to go ahead and drill them out. Get on the mark. And there's one. And that's number two. Check everything out. Looks like it lines up pretty good. Same with that one. That's all it takes for that. Now if you may notice something, I'm not doing a lot of measurement. And that's because you really don't have to. This is just uh, kind of basic fabrication. I mean, there's certain measurements that I do have to take, but other things I can just, you know, square things off, mark where I want things to go, and then punch the hole. So, uh, you know, one thing is, is I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not into this to manufacture it, to make it repeatable or anything. So, you know, it's just uh, fabrication, uh, you know, where there's, uh, you know, where there's, you know, a lot of, you know, I don't know, a lot of slop, I guess, you know, but uh, this is going to turn out. So, uh, next thing to do, unfortunately, I think, is I gotta take all these uh, bolts off and everything, and uh, then mark the holes and mark, mark where I'm gonna put holes into the aluminum sheet for the, for the various areas, and uh, then drill those out, put them back on, at least kind of temporarily, and mark the holes onto the mark where the holes go onto the frame, drill those out, and then the whole thing could be put together. I think. Um, mm, this is another issue with you know this is another thing I shouldn't say issue. This is another thing about fabrication is there's a lot of fitting, taking things apart, putting it back together, um, moving things around, making sure things fit and everything. So, you know, just uh, be aware of that whenever you uh, do it yourself. Um, this is my thing. Yours is not going to be like this. It might be worse. <laughs> well, this is a uh, new and interesting angle for, uh, well, for these videos. I decided to uh, move my camera a little bit because it was kind of getting in the way before. And uh, this would probably also allow you to see what I'm doing a little bit easier. At least that's my hope. Um, yesterday I had to uh, stop my uh, camera because, well, my camera's my phone and it was running out of power. And usually when it runs out of power, it will cut off the video, like, just randomly. And sometimes I'm not paying attention and, well, it just was, uh, just get, becomes a mess. So anyhow, after, after I shut it off, I decided to go ahead and drill this out. And I drilled it out, and you can see that I mounted, put these uh, extra screws or bolts and whatnot in. And uh, also mounted the, mounted the angle brackets uh, up here. You'll probably see them, I'll bring it over here. Mount the angle brackets, and uh, these uh, these brackets are what are going to support the motors partially, at least the main body of the motor. I'm going to uh, soon be uh, adding some extra stuff. Um, going to be uh, making making the bearing blocks that go here, and uh, be one on each one on each side, one 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 down here to support the wheel on this side, and one up here to support the wheel over here. And uh, then, uh, well, I also have to create something to mount the casters uh, at the front up here. And uh, the only other thing I'm going to do uh, as far as construction on this uh, is I got this thing right here. It's, a, it's, it's part of this frame. It's actually epoxied in place. It's, uh, it's a bubble level. And this is on the bottom, facing like going to be facing like this. And so it's kind of useless, but it also does something weird. It, uh, because of the epoxy that's holding it on, it's uh, pressing these, uh, pressing these uh, metal, uh, these aluminum sheets in a weird way and making a little bump here right in the middle. 
So I'm going to see if I can remove that. And, uh, you know, if I, if I can, I can. If I can't, well, that's just the way it is. But in order to do that, I'm going to have to uh, take this whole thing back apart. And then, uh, and then, well, wail on it with a hammer, I think. 